Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Mats this week. Now, we've got so many things with us. You might want to find some friends that live on a farm. You might want to find some shakers. You might even want to find a hat. Shall we sing? We're going to start with if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, wibble around, wibbly wibbly. If you're happy and you know it, wibble around, wibbly wibbly. Can you be like jelly? If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wibble around, wibble wibble. If you're happy and you know it, put your hat on, hat on. If you're happy and you know it, put your hat on, hat on. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, put your hat on, hat on. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, wave hello, hello. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's really great to see you. We're going to sing our Minnie Mats welcome song now. If you've just joined us today for the first time, don't worry if you don't know it, because we'll sing it two times. And those of us who do know it, we get to sing it twice. Are we ready? So we'll start with our clap your hands, stamp your feet and turn around. Now you can do this with your hat on or off, whatever you like. I'm going to wear mine. Off. You're going to put yours off. That's okay. Bye. Ready? Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. It's good to see you. Hello. It's good to see you. Hello. Brilliant. So we're going to sing that again so that everyone can have a turn. Come here, little friend. There we go. Now everyone will see you doing great actions. Ready? Yeah, back. Yeah, bring your hats. Go on then. Ready? Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. It's good to see you. Hello. It's good to see you. Hello. Well, as always, at this point, we're going to switch over to our story time. I hope you enjoy the next story in our series. And then we're going to come back, bring your hats, bring your shakers, and bring some friends you might see on the farm. See you soon. Hello everyone, welcome to our story time. I'm going to read the next book in this series now. This one is called Moses and the Very Big Rescue. Do you like rescue stories? Well, this is a true story from the Bible and it's a true rescue story. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Right, here we go. God's people had a very big problem. Pharaoh was the king of Egypt. He made them work as his slaves. They worked all day in the hot sun to make bricks for Pharaoh's buildings. So they cried out to the Lord for help and God heard them and God planned a very big rescue. God told Moses, go to Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go. God said, I will do amazing things to show him who is really the king of the world. Pharaoh will know that I am the one true God. So Moses went. Look, here's Moses coming to talk to Pharaoh. Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. Moses said, Every time you say no, God will send a terrible disaster. But Pharaoh didn't care. His heart was stubborn. His heart was hard. God's great countdown began. Can you see this number here? Ten. Moses held out his staff over the great river Nile and it turned to blood. But Pharaoh was stubborn. His heart was hard. He would not let them go. <gasps> Look, nine. Let my people go, said Moses. No, said Pharaoh. So God sent thousands of hopping, croaking frogs. Eight. Moses said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no. And God sent millions of whining, itching gnats. But Pharaoh was stubborn. His heart was hard. Seven. Moses said, let my people go. No, said Pharaoh. So God sent clouds of buzzing, flitting flies. Number six, let my people go, said Moses. No, said Pharaoh. 
So God sent a sickness on the cattle and sheep. But Pharaoh was stubborn. The Lord had hardened his heart. Number five. Let my people go, said Moses. No, said Pharaoh. So God sent a plague of painful purple pus-filled boils. Number four. Let my people go, says Moses. No, said Pharaoh. So God sent huge, hurting, horrible hailstones. Number three. Let my people go, said Moses. No, said Pharaoh. So God sent swarms of noisy, hungry locusts. Number two. Let my people go, said Moses. No, 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 said Pharaoh. So God sent a deep, inky darkness so no one could see anything. But Pharaoh was stubborn. The Lord had hardened his, hardened his heart. <gasps> Number one. Let my people go, said Moses. No, said Pharaoh. And Moses had a sad heart as he left Pharaoh because he knew that the last plague would be terrible. Moses told God's people to get ready to go because that night God would bring death to every house in Egypt. God's people all ate a special meal that night and blood from the lambs they'd eaten was put on the doorposts. So when the Lord saw their blood, he passed over those houses and God's people were safe. But in all the other houses in Egypt, there was death and great sadness. Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, yes. God's people set off from Egypt to the land God promised to give them. But Pharaoh was stubborn, his heart was hard, and he chased after God's people with his chariots. They're trapped by the sea, thought Pharaoh. I can destroy them all. God had reached the end of his countdown. Can you count with me? We'll start at ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Moses held up his staff and the sea parted before him. And all of God's people walked through the sea, safely to the other side. But when Pharaoh and his horses and the chariots tried to follow, the sea rushed back and they were drowned. God rescued his people from Egypt. Moses and the people danced and sang a song together. There is no one like you, Lord. You do great miracles and wonders. You keep your promises and save your people. Praise the Lord. That's a great rescue story, isn't it? God rescued his people from Pharaoh, who was not kind and did not look after God's people. And God rescued them. And you know, in the Bible, God tells us that he can rescue people like you and me as well. Not with a man called Moses, but with a man called Jesus. We're going to read about him in our Christmas story, which will be in a few weeks' time. So do make sure you come back for that one, and then you'll find out who God's going to use to rescue us. Enjoy the rest of our singing now, and next story time we'll read another one of these lovely books. Hello everyone, welcome back from our story time. I hope you've still got your shapers and instruments with you. We're going to start with the Grand Old Duke of York. So, shall we all stand up? Now I think the Grand Old Duke of York has... So maybe you could wear a hat too. Do you want your hat on or off? Ah. Off. Here we go. Right, up we get then. Ready? We're going to do some marching. Can you march? March, march, march. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, very good. Should we do it again? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Brilliant. Now, you can get, maybe you want to change your shakers now. I'm going to use this one now for this next song. Our next song, we're going to go to Old MacDonald's Farm. And if you look at our yellow chair here, Pickle. We've got some animals on Old MacDonald's farm. Yeah, Baba. Should we have the Baba first? Yeah. Ready? Old MacDonald had a sheep, e -I -E -I -O. and on that farm he had a sheep, e -I -E -I -O. with a bar bar here and a bar bar there, here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar bar. Old MacDonald had a farm, e -I -E -I -O. Can you choose another animal? Who's next? And on that farm he had a rabbit. 
Our singing at Minnie Mouse with sleepy bummies. Can you see if you can find somewhere to lie down to have a little sleep. Do you know, even your old McDonald friends could lie down and have a little sleep too. We ready? Look, I'm going to make my little bunny sleep. See the little bunny sleeping yeah. till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. What do we do next? A big stretch and back to sleep. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Shh. Wake up soon. Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. hop. Jump little bunnies, jump, 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 jump little bunnies, jump, 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 jump little bunnies, jump, 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 jump. Well done. Well, I'm going to put my little buttons back over here. Oh, great job. We hope you have enjoyed singing with us today, with our friends, with our shakers and our instruments. And we hope that you can have a lovely time doing some songs at home. Bye -bye. And maybe copying what we've done. That's Bye -bye. it, Sam. It's time to say, come this way. That's it, it's time to say bye-bye and we'll see you soon.